What's up, Broadway fans? We are live at 5. It is Tuesday, July 24th. We are here at Broadway.com. I'm Paul Wontora. I'm Caitlin Moynihan. And hey, who's that guy over there? It's Eric King. Hi, everyone. Special guest appearance. Yes. And, yeah. and a great star today. We oh, you just Ray. gave a sigh. I gave a sigh because she's so wonderful. We have Sharon Sig. <laughs> See that? In That's the... how you remember how to pronounce yes. her name. See that? You sighed. I, I did like it. that. Uh, but first, today's top five. Okay, are you ready for this one? It's bad. <laughs> Today we found out the age of Aquarius is actually more of a Taurus. Oh my gosh. It's because, okay, I like that one. So yes, we found out the release date for Hair Live. <laughs> Wait, I don't get it. It's because Taurus is the birth, the, the sign of May. Oh, because an age of, of Aquarius. I the was it's Apollo. layered. It's the very air the air date. Day. Yeah, well, that was yeah. the headlines. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. Hair live. But yeah, hair live. Promise. It's happening. And we have a release date. It's May 19th, 2019. So at least we know like it's a fish happening. Mm -hmm. um, and we know that Tony winner Diane Paulus has signed on to co direct. Well, of course, she directed the fantastic Blast Broadway yeah, revival. Yeah, she did. And then. Um, G, uh, Alex Rudzinski, and he worked on Jesus Christ Superstar Live. Which, which just got like 800 A billion Emmy Emmys. Nominations. Yeah, so we know that's like a wonderful combo. And then also Craig Zidane and Neil Marin. Craig um, Zayden. Zayden. It's all good. Zayden. It's all good. She's young. I'm young. Um, <laughs> but they have worked on every single NBC live musical together. They're executive producing it. So like this. Oh, I know. This creative team, like they're, the they're locked and they're loaded. The Ready to go. We don't know who's going to be in the cast yet, but we know with, it's going to be amazing. There's plenty of time to plenty cast time. it. Take your time. Make get it the good. Right people. Start Make growing it. your hair out, kids. <laughs> I wonder if they're going to do it on like a big, on like wigs. the big stage, like they did with Jesus Christ Superstar, or if they're going to have it like in like yes. a few different sound stages. I'm, I'm going to make I, the prediction. Say, It'll be Jesus, like Jesus, Jesus Christ Superstar. Okay, it's the best because one. hair isn't real. What they're not going to do it in Central Park. Oh, <laughs> Imagine actually, yeah. there's no hair the logistics. In Washington Square Park. Oh. So they could do it at the Delacorte. They could go back. Let's shut that down. Okay. <laughs> okay. Sounds Work good. On that crazy, Next. Neil. <laughs> and the West End has a new Roxy Hart. Mm. Roxy Hart. I don't know her. Alexandra yeah. Burke. Because Chicago is a thing now, again, in London. She's the new Roxy Hart. Mm -hmm. Starting August 13th. Um, she won the fifth season of X Factor UK. Love it. Now, what season is X Factor UK on now? It must this be. was like 2000. That I was supposed I to couldn't be even, I couldn't even tell you. I minute. feel like X Factor has been around a long time. Yeah. Uh, she played Rachel Marin in The Bodyguard, Dolores Van Cartier in Sister Act, and most recently, Svetlana in Chess at the London Coliseum. Ooh. So, congratulations, Alexandra. I'm sure you're a big belter. Ooh. That's going to be good. <laughs> you just pulled a Mariah Carey with the I don't know her. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, she's no talking shade, about J-Lo, no so the next J-Lo. Um, a Tony-winning play is coming to theaters. Yeah, I'm actually so excited. This is a really good I'm play. I'm really excited to see it. Um, it's coming. So Red, the John Logan uh, play Red, is going to be filmed, and it's going to be released in cinemas both in the UK and North America on November 7th. And this is um, basically a reproduction of the 2010 Tony-winning play, um, and it won a bunch of Tonys when it was Do you know who Broadway. was in it? Yeah, Eddie Redmayne. Eddie Redmayne. He, it was, and I remember when he was in it, we didn't know. It was no, like, who's that young He's a newbie, and he won the Emmy. I mean, he won the Tony. He yeah, won the Tony for that one. And so now, we. but the original... And Alfred Molina Alfred was Molina. in it. He's in it again. And he's still in it. He's going to be on it. But instead of Eddie, it's now Alfred Enoch, who okay, he was sure. in Harry Potter. Shout out. To, he was in the Harry Potter and oh. How to Get Away with Murder. Two oh. Harry Potter Two stars. Two Harry Potters. Hello? Yeah. Awesome. Okay, so cool. one Harry Potter star. So yeah, for it's another. in the West End now, right? In the West End so now, and yeah. then the same director who won the Tony, um, Michael Grandich. Michael Grandich, and then yeah, you can oh, get Frozen tickets. Fame. Oh, see that? Look at he that! Does it musicals all and plays. comes together. Very versatile. But yeah, you can start getting tickets to see it when it comes to movie theaters beginning August fifteenth. So make sure you can get them. Why would? Why do you have to buy tickets ahead of time? I don't get it. Just because it's going to sell out. Okay. I got to get a seat now because now there's I never reserved seats. That. The pre-order thing. I don't you gotta it. do it. Okay. <laughs> in just between us, squirrel friends, SpongeBob SquarePants has a new star tonight. I'm glad you found that funny. Uh, Christina Paul Saju gets up, walks out. Christina Saju. Yes. Uh, is Sandy Cheeks starting tonight, July yeah. 24th? She is replacing Lily Cooper, who uh, had her final performance over the weekend, and she mm -hmm. will now be in Tootsie with so Santino excited. Fontana, which I'm super excited about, which is in rehearsal now mm -hmm. for a Chicago run. Uh, Christina has been in Holla, if you hear me. 
<laughs> I was waiting to see if anyone hollered. Holla! Uh, <laughs> Spider-Man from <laughs> the Dark, baby, it's you! At an exclamation point. And American Idiot, because all the great musicals have, have exclamation, exclamation point. points. Um, and this, of course, is a not a long run, because SpongeBob... I don't want to bring down the room, no. but it is closing on September 16th. Maybe it's So, a uh, happy first performance, yes. Christina. Yes, yay. And our very own Caitlin Moynihan recently caught up with a 2018 Tony winner. Tell us all about it. Yes. So, our Katrina Link photo yes. shoot just went live today. And you is, interviewed her. I interviewed her. And not only is she like, Talented, gorgeous, beautiful, wonderful, but she's gorgeous just and, and beautiful. beautiful. Oh, both, all of the adjectives. But she's just so down to earth, and she's so yeah. thoughtful, and uh -huh. she really takes her job seriously. But she has fun with it. I don't know. She's everything. Well, I think she's appreciating this moment. Oh yeah, because you know she's been around. She's and, been and around. It's, and it's a great moment for her mm -hmm. to to soak in it. Yeah, bask in it. Bask in it. And we talked about you know what Tony Knight was like for her. Nails. Why she did her nails. Mm -hmm. It's actually hilarious. And what it's like working with Sasanga Bay. Yeah, so we, we learned how to say her name a long time ago. Yes, we did. So make sure to check on um, that out. Emilio, our photographer, uh, Emilio he Major took the pictures. Took the most gorgeous Literally. photographs of her. You have to look. Please go look and just stare at them and make all the pictures your screensavers because it's worth it. But yeah, so go look at that because it's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Coolio. Awesome. Thank you so much, Caitlin. Thank you. It's time to move over. Yes. Because Sharon is here. Uh, she's also on the band's visit. Heck yeah. Uh, Hey, uh, Eric, why don't you tell us about her? Will do. Okay, so we've got Sharon Seig here, and she's charming audiences in the Tony-winning production of The Band's Visit as Anna. She's also gearing up for her first duo show at Feinstein's 54 Below on July 26, titled Project Broadway, the Unconventional Materials Challenge. Uh, we're going to find out what that means in a bit. Uh, Sharon's previous stage credits include Broadway's Mamma Mia!, the Wildness, Buddy, Around the World in 80 Days, and Disconnect. Be sure to follow her on social media at Sharon Saig and leave all your comments and questions uh, below on Facebook Live. And please welcome Paul and Sharon. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Paul. Let's do Hi this guys. again. Sharon Saig. Saig. It's like a Saig, Saig with, with a, a G. G. Saig with a G. Yeah. So, what's the worst mispronunciation you've heard? Ooh. I mean, I get Sharon, obviously, all the time. Of course, that's And then common. I get Sharona, Sharoni. My Sharona. Mm -hmm. um, then Saig, it's like, oh, my God, it's such a mixed bag. It's like Sayegi, Sayej, Saig. I wow. mean, it's just like, you know, take your pick. Reminds me of Saida <laughs> Garrett. Remember her? No. She sang a song with Michael Jackson. Anyway. Oh, cool. <laughs> that's Why not? Name. Why not? Back in the <laughs> 80s. How's it going? I'm great. How are so, you doing? Oh, my God. You you have been involved with the band's visit. You yeah. did the original production. I did production. off Broadway, yeah. Yeah. And now look at it. Yeah. And now we it's did like not... a fancy uh, big t big Tony winner. I mean, yeah. how, how are things going over there? It's great. It's, um, you know, we thought things might be like a little bit more chill after the Tonys. Right. but. Right after the Tonys, our Tony, wonderful Tony Shalhoub, yeah. left to go film Mrs. Maisel, the which second we season. Love. We love which that show. Which is so good. We're obsessed, yeah. Obsessed. Yeah. And, so um, it's okay that he has to film that. Because yes, if yes. he was filming a show we didn't like, we'd be a little angrier. Right, of course. <laughs> and so we got Sasson from, yes. from the movie. He was the guy who originated the movie in Israel. Yeah. He's like a huge, huge star in Israel. Right. So what like, kind of, are you seeing that in audiences now? Are there yes. Like, uh, yeah. There's definitely more Israelis in the audience. Okay. He's like the George Clooney of Israel. Like He's I know, a big I've heard deal. That. Like, my mother is freaking out. Really? That he, yes. Like, it's crazy. Are you saying he's a sex symbol? Well, he's just, like, been, he's, like, that guy that's, like, been in everything, and, like, people have grown up with him in, like, movies and TV shows and plays, and you know what I mean? He didn't do an Israeli Ocean's Eleven, did he? Because he should. <laughs> there should be, be an Israeli Ocean's Eleven. <laughs> <Eleven. end> <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and he's amazing in the show. He's such a sweetheart, and, you know, he kind of created the role in the film. Yeah, so it's crazy. It's different than Tony, but, like, in a wonderful way. It's it's really great. Yeah, yeah. that's awesome. Yeah. Um, and so let's talk about who you play in the show. Okay. Because it's very memorable. You have very <laughs> memorable moments. Thanks. So I play Anna. She's yes. like the girl about town. Yep. Um, I was actually talking to our director, David Cromer, when we were off Broadway Tony about Winter, like, David Cromer. Tony Winner. Every, fantastic. The Tony's everywhere <laughs> over at that show. Um, just about like, you know, why Anna's in the show and like what she represents. And he was like, Anna represents really like what Dina was 10 to 15 years Ooh. ago. She's like this young girl who like is so hopeful. She's on the best date of her life. But life just hasn't treated her terribly yet. You know what I mean? Yeah. So she's there to kind of show what Dina used to be and to, to kind of give you that, like, 
more, you know, the more heartache that you feel for Dina because you feel like, oh, that's where, you know, because like Anna will probably marry Zelger, uh-huh. the guy that she skates yep. with. Mm-hmm. They'll probably have a terrible marriage and get divorced and she'll stay in this <laughs> tiny little town and end up like Dina. You know what I mean? Right. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of like what I represent in the piece. So fun fact. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and of course, Dina is the fantastic Katrina Lang. Mm-hmm. That, that, that's her role. Um, and a lot of mystery to her. Yes. Fun fact, you are also now covering that role. Yeah, which so I'm really that's excited fun about. That, that you, you represent her, but right. now you're also exploring that a little you bit. You want to know a little secret? This yeah, is like we Broadway love secrets. secrets. So when Katrina, I was like watching her, you know, off stage as, as I'm learning the role, whatever. And when she's going out for the going out scene, she puts lipstick on, right? Uh-huh. And so I asked our makeup artist, like, do you want a specific lipstick color, whatever? And she's like, well, Katrina uses this Marc Jacobs lipstick. It's called Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. I was like, that's the exact <laughs> lipstick color that I wear as the soldier in the beginning. What? Foreshadowing. Really? Yeah. Isn't that strange? <laughs> it's like, that's the one lipstick that's sold in Betta Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. You know what I mean? Bang bang. I By love Marc it. Jacobs. <laughs> you know, that's a great tip for everyone, like, people watching this video, like, in 20 years, doing it in community theater. You should wear that if lipstick. If they still color. make it, if not, look on eBay. I'm sure. <laughs> maybe you you should maybe buy something. You could sell it on eBay. I know, right? You know, it's like, like a good, it's, a key, it. it's key to the role. It's a great color, honestly. It's a good color. Yeah. Good. The drugstore finds in Peta Tikva. They're so good. <laughs> <laughs> Although I feel like here you can only really find it at like Sephora. Yeah. You like can't even find it at the drugstore. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So I want to talk about unconventional yes. challenges. Challenge. The unconventional materials. Material. Challenge. I'm sorry. The no, challenge. Because I'm okay. thinking Project Runway, which is what right. it's inspired by. The yes. un- unconventional material challenge is famously where they like go to a junkyard yeah. and they say, pull crap out of the dumpster and make right. a, make fashion out of it. And they make these like gorgeous dresses out of like trash and like tubes and like And it's the best. And it's so cool. And now they do it on drag race too, I think, don't they? Erica? Oh, they do. They do. Yeah, 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 they do drag on a dime. You right. know. Drag on a dime. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool noodles. Yeah. Eric and I could talk about drag race. It's good, yeah. to, it's good to have you over there. Thank you for being here. <laughs> um but, okay, so you were doing this show with the fantastic Raymond J. Lee. Yes, yeah, so who I love. Now, how do you guys know each other? So we did Mamma Mia on Broadway together. Ah. I think it was both of our Broadway debuts. Wow. We were babies. Okay. And we just, like, instantly became really close friends. We loved singing together. He's we, funny. He's so funny. He's a funny He's, guy. like, such a goober. <laughs> he has, like, the best <laughs> voice ever. Yeah. Because he can just, like, he, like, gives you silky, smothery stuff, like, Silky, buttery stuff. You know what I mean? Uh, okay. Not smothery, buttery. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um, but then he's also just like so hilarious. So you do it. Yeah. So this is the. So who had the idea of this show and how did it? So yeah, we like we were like, okay, what do we want to sing? And we kind of like made this list out, and it was like very much a mishmash. And then we were thinking like, so we're both like you know ethnic, even though everybody's ethnic, like everyone has an ethnicity, but whatever. Yeah. It's America. It's America. This is what we, we're all immigrants. Right. But we were thinking Gone. like, we don't want to necessarily make it about that, but we, there are some roles we would like love to play that are normally, you know, not cast as like Middle Eastern or race Asian. So we were like, why don't we take a cue from Bro- Project Broadway, Project uh-huh. Runway, mm-hmm. sorry. See, you messed it up too. And <laughs> Challenge. Right. Uh-huh. And just be like, oh, these these songs, this material is like unconventional for us. You know what cool. I mean? Uh-huh. And we're also doing like a lot of mashups, Fun. like People musical mashups. theater into pop, pop into rap, pop into rock. Uh-oh. Like really, I think they're going to be like really surprising. Wow. Yeah. So who, and who's your musical director? Steven Jamail, who's amazing. He's fantastic. He's so great. So you've been, you've been working, is that 54 yeah. Below, Feinstein's 54 Below? Right, it's on Thursday. And it's on Thursday night. At 9.30. My, the band's visit's going to no, end at like 8.40, 8.45. And then, and then I'm just going to like run seven over. Seven blocks up. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be fine. Yeah. I mean, usually they're running like a little late anyway because there's another show at seven. So like, it'll be yeah. fine. Yeah. It'll be fun. <laughs> Do you like that? Do you like, uh, like, you know, just you're on. You're already going to be warmed yeah. up. You're ready to go. Right. To be honest, the fact that I have like less time in between is just going to make it seem like I'll just I'll just do it. I won't be able to like sit there and get nervous about it. You What's know what I mean? What's an example of something unconventional that you are doing that you're excited about? Ooh. Okay. So because we met in Mamma Mia, yes. right? There's another musical that probably a lot of people don't know about that the guys from ABBA wrote the music to. I'm sure you know, right? Yes, of course I do. So we're going to start with a little, we're going to like, one of our mashups starts with a song from that show, and then it's going to go like full on into like a Brandy and Monica pop song from the 90s. 
The boy is mine is what she's referring to. It's going to be, I know him so well, into the boy is mine. Into one more, which I won't give it away. But, but I yes, like, but that's great, <laughs> by the way. I'm not revealing yeah. it like to be like, oh, what a tired idea. That's genius. Yeah. And I'm dying to hear it. Yeah, it's going to be really great. fun. But I love how you teased it. Oh, yeah. Thanks. <laughs> uh, that sounds amazing. Yeah, it's going to be really wow. fun. Wow. Yeah. Cool. So where did you grow up and how'd you get your start? I grew up in LA. Okay. Um, I really wanted to like, when I was in high school, start like auditioning for things because I was in LA. Uh -huh. But my parents were very anti that and they were like, we want you to have a normal childhood and whatnot. But I'm actually glad they didn't let yeah. me. And I just kind of did like community theater. I did like drama in high school, the musicals in high school, that kind of what stuff. What was your first show you did? In second grade, I did Free to Be You and Me. Oh, do you wow. Know that musical? Yeah, of course I did. Yeah. It's like a hippy dippy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was in second grade. Yeah. Cool. Um, oh my God, in high school, yeah. I played. The narrator and Joseph. That was like my breakout role. I could tell that'd be your breakout role. <laughs> and then I Big played. Belting. And then I played T Moon on Once on This Island. How hysterical is that? <laughs> oh, you know, yeah. I mean, it works. Yeah, there's like the high school version that's like any ethnicity, it doesn't matter. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. But I've heard, I've seen a lot of other people have done uh, Once on This Island that yeah, made yeah. me raise my eyebrows more. I mean. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so that's cool. Yeah, so yeah. then you realize you love musicals, so and you're then like, I, I like, want to yeah. be on Broadway. Yeah, and then I was like, I want to study musical theater. And my parents were like, uh, maybe you should be a lawyer. And I was like, oh, I don't think I, I don't think so. So then I was like, I'm just going to audition for schools. And they were like, well, you can't leave California. We want you to stay in California. Okay. And then I was like, sure. So back in the day when I was like, this is like showing my age, I made a VHS tape yep. for my audition for like all the schools outside of California. you didn't say beta. No, I didn't say VHS. beta. VHS. <laughs> VHS. And then I like sent them out to like all the East Coast schools that I wanted to go okay. to. And then when I got accepted to some of them, I was like, so I got in. Can we like go look at them? And my parents were like, ah. So, so where'd you go? I wound up going to Syracuse, oh, which is upstate okay. New York, which yeah, I yeah. loved. Um, I had such a wonderful time there. And then after school, I just moved here and started auditioning. Was the narrator on the VHS? <laughs> you know what? I can't even remember. No, I don't think so. I think I sang Waiting for Life actually on the VHS. It's yeah. A good song. Yeah. It's a good song. <laughs> uh, hey, Eric, uh, are there any questions there from the fans on Do you have questions that we can me? engage yes. with? I just want to say I'm also a Syracuse grad. Go Cuse. Hello. Oh, my God. Um, hello, Eric. Yes, hello. <laughs> you seem like you have a lot um, of friends <laughs> in the biz. I do have a lot of friends in the biz. Yeah. Well, Syracuse is so close that like most of your class winds up moving down here, which is nice. Right. So you like right. move to the city with like 30 of your friends, which right. is awesome. Right. Slightly less snow here. Yes. Slightly. <laughs> okay. So... <laughs> Katie would like to know, she's so excited to see the band's visit in August. She oh, would like fun. to know a little bit more about your put-in rehearsal for Dina. Oh, my God. Okay. I was very nervous at the beginning, but it went really well. Um, so when you have a, when you rehearse, when you're an understudy on Broadway, you usually rehearse with just like the associates, like the associate director, the associate choreographer, and the other understudies. You don't do it with like everyone in right. the show. And then in your put-in, you do it with everyone in the show for the first time. And, like, you're the only one in costume. Right, right. And everyone is else hilarious. is just, like, dressed like this. And yeah. you're like, this is so awkward. Um, but it was great. Everyone was super supportive. It's your first time doing it with, like, the makeup and the hair and the costumes and the sound and the lights and the set, like, all the turntables moving and all that. Because, you know, we have a couple of turntables yes. in our show. People love those turntables. Um, and also, you know, like, we have um, instruments. We have, like, musicians on stage, right? Right. So... Like the first time I'm like singing Um Kultum, I'm like trying to like be really great about it. And all I can hear is like our amazing cellist Garo is on the stage, he's like on the left side. It's he's just like more with like the cello sound. And like I can hear that when I'm backstage in the mix, but like on stage I was like, Oh my god, this is so different than what I'm used to hearing, you know? Yeah. So it's definitely like a big adjustment period, but that's why you do put ins. Mm -hmm. And it was really fun and it was really wonderful for like all my cast members to like be like, This is so exciting. Exciting, you're killing it, you know. So, so yeah, it was fun. That's great. Yeah. I love it. Now that that happened, I feel like, all right, if I have to go You'll on, be ready? I'm ready to go. You feel good to go. Yeah, I feel good. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Jake would like to know um, is there a part of the show that you look forward to watch or perform every night? Mm. And I mean, that could also change now that you um, are understudying Dina. Right. Um, I love the roller skating scene, to be honest. It's just like so surprising for the audience because like we were just with the family and like 
Iris and Itzik, the John Cariani and Kristen C, like just had yeah. like this huge fight, and you just expect it to be like this like emotional moment, and then like Bill comes out and he's like skating, and it's so <laughs> funny. Um, and like you can tell the audience is like, oh god, oof, thank god, like I feel like I needed to release the tension, yeah. you know. Um, so like I really enjoy that, and because we have like so much like oh just like business at the DJ table, whatever, we get to like chat with each other, oh. and I always like. Me and Jonathan Revie, we all, we speak Hebrew. We're both Israeli, so we like kind of mess with people on stage, and we like say things to them in Hebrew, and we're like trying to teach them Hebrew. And sometimes they have no idea what we're saying, <laughs> and sometimes they do, and it's it's like keeps it fresh every night, you know. Are they getting any better? Oh yeah, totally. Okay, At, like there's actually moments in the show now where we have like these little like conversations like in the back of the scene that you can't the audience can't hear but they're like fully in Hebrew and I'm like so impressed with wow all the actors in our show because people have been studying like on Duolingo and stuff that's so cool yeah it's really cool and I I, I watched a a video where you talk about your heritage a little bit how Mm -hmm. does that affect your approach to the show or 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 tell us a little bit what that means to you being in the show it means a lot I'm not gonna lie um it feels like Usually the depiction of Middle Eastern people in the U.S., it's, like, always about the political conflict, mm-hmm. right? It's, like, Israel and Arabs and Egypt and whatnot, you know? And, like, not to say that that doesn't exist. Of course it does. Right. But um, I, like, as a person growing up in Los Angeles, like, didn't feel defined by that political conflict. Mm-hmm. And so I just feel like it's so wonderful and refreshing to be representing that part of the world with just like human beings, just human stories. I'm just like a girl who wants to go out on a date, you know? Whereas like in general, you know, almost every TV show I've auditioned for when it's like a Middle Eastern role, it's like terrorist wife number two, you know what I mean? And it's just like most of the people in that region of the world do not feel represented by the politics of their governments. I think like we in America don't really feel like represented by the politics of our government right now. So like it just feels really great. And I also just feel like I've had so many like um, young girls and boys on like Instagram and Facebook like message me and be like, I'm Israeli or I'm Middle Eastern. And like I'm like seeing myself on Broadway for the first time, you know. And I think if I had a show like this to look up to in high school, it would have been like, you know. So I just feel like really proud and grateful to be in this piece. Beautiful. Oh, I love yeah. that. I mean, this show's going to be around for a long time. Oh, fingers crossed. Yeah. Um, but I also have to ask you, since you made your debut in Mamma Mia, yeah. have you seen Mamma Mia, Here We Go Again? I have. It's really fun. It's What'd you think really of it? Fun. As a Mamma Mia expert. Uh, it to- I definitely teared up twice. Yeah. I don't want to give away which moments, but it's really fun. We had like a little screening for a lot of people that were in the Broadway company. Oh, yeah. Um, it was great. <laughs> uh, so like what's what I loved is like my favorite, favorite ABBA song is Fernando. Oh. And it's not in Mamma Mia, although yeah. secret in like on the in the Broadway version when it's already closed, obviously. But when Donna, before she sings Mamma Mia, mm-hmm. when she's just like fixing the like doors before she like sees all the dads. Right. I love when she's dads, doing handiwork <laughs> right? at the resort. I love that. She like hums Fernando. It's like she hums like eight bars of it. So some people will never know. Oh, that, but she does. I she's never like, knew that. Yeah. An Easter egg. I love it. Oh. And then she like notices the guys. Yeah. So thank that? God they like put Fernando in. And Cher singing it. And Cher singing it. And it's so good. <laughs> and I love it. It's my favorite episode. And Andy Garcia. Oh, yeah. I didn't even recognize him at first. Yeah, I didn't I'm like, either. Oh my God, that's Andy Garcia. <laughs> and everybody like, looks so tan and sun kissed. I'm so jealous. Because I feel like they film on location, like in Greece. Yeah, yeah. I, know, <laughs> I know. I don't know how they film it, but it's oh, gorgeous. Beautiful. It's delicious. Uh, maybe we need like a band's visit prequel or something. Ooh. Put Fernando in there. I don't know. <laughs> A band's visit Mamma Mia mashup? Ooh, I should have done that for the concert. That's the next show. Maybe I'll add it in like two but days. But <laughs> this week, <laughs> the show is called Unconventional Material. It's called Project Broadway. Project Broadway. Instead of Project Colon, Runway. Unconven- okay. The Unconventional it's, Materials Challenge. Okay, good. Okay, yeah. good. And uh, Raymond J. Lee and you, and it's at, at 9.30. Mm-hmm. You're going to run over. Some people maybe can see the band's visit if they can get tickets and then run over. They could do like a whole night with you. Yeah, they totally. They could run up seven blocks with you. Yeah, there's like a half an hour in between, so you could you can make it happen. Yeah. 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 Cool. Well, sounds fantastic. <laughs> I'm so excited to meet you finally. You too. And uh, I hope I, one day I get to see you play Dina, too. That'd be fun. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, cool. I'll keep you posted. Okay, awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sharon. Uh, hey, Eric, why don't you take us out? Will do. Okay, thank you so much for tuning in. We have Live at Five every day on Facebook Live here. And you can also listen to us as a podcast. Wherever you get your podcast, just type in hashtag Live at Five. 
Um, be sure to tune in tomorrow when we talk to Jason Danielli all about Pretty Woman. Bye, everyone. <laughs>